hi everyone and welcome back so in last couple of videos we talked about uh, react exercise on hacker rank and a lot of companies are now giving these kind of exercise where developer have to spend some couple of hours and need to submit the solution need to pass all the test cases it can be with react it can be with angular or no just question okay so we have already discussed two problem statement of react which are available on hacker rig this is the third problem and here we are going to talk about angular okay so few things which you should always remember before attempting these questions is don't get scared with the code which is already written it's just some boilerplate code which is already written you just need to write focus on the logic to achieve the functionality like this kanban board so if you see the current functionality current functionality is already there i mean you have the forms you have everything now you just need to write a functionality whatever is asked in the readme file so so we will just go through this readme and we will try to understand the problem statement from what it look like is from this uh, image you need to add a task and then you can move these tasks to uh, a different state it's like a kanban board or jira like backlog to to do to ongoing to done you can move it back and you can delete so it's like you need to implement these features of deleting a task moving it to back and forth between these different state if you are on the backlog your previous button should be disabled if you are in the done state then your forward button should be disabled something like this let's go through it and i recently attempt this question it took me some time initially to understand this logic but it it was like simple i didn't get scared by looking at the code and this was the existing code of all the components it's like angular boilerplate is already there we just need to write the logic for this kanban slider component okay let's see this so the new task name the the board contains four stages the new task name input should be initially empty when user types task and click on to the create task then new task will be created and the default stage of the task is backlog it's like you are creating a jira ticket which should be in the backlog now you can move it to different state create task button is clicked with the input empty nothing should happen so we need to take care of these things if you are typing uh, if you are clicking on to the button without text nothing should happen because there might be a test case written for this in every individual stage the tasks are rendered in a list using url item now each task has a three actions back forth back forward and delete button right and every task has two property name and stage stage are already predefined which is backlog to do and the name of the task which we are getting from this text field okay so nothing much we just need to write the logic for back button forward button delete button and creating the new task by entering the data in the create task form okay let's see what we already have this is simple button nothing is working so we need whatever we are typing here we should be able to create a task and add it to backlog so that should be our first thing and this is our kanban board component this is the code we already have okay so these are the different stages i think and these are the tasks existing task we have in on init method so we need to write a method to add a new task so we can do it with the html first like there is an input field and there is a button so while while you click on to the button we have to deal with this so we can add a click method so you can see how much code we are going to write very small click method is there i will just do a create task okay this is create task method and to capture it so i can use ng model ng model equal to uh, some variable which you will define in your typescript code this is the new task okay so your new task initially will be empty so here i can create public new task which is string task length and all now i have created this html 
dom event create task create task using create task i will be creating a new task okay so create task method here we need to check if uh, this dot new task if it is empty then return do nothing otherwise we have to just get this dot tasks which we already have dot push this dot tasks dot push and we have to push one object and what this object will be this okay so this dot task dot push we can get the name this dot new task and stage is zero you can see this stage parameter it will define what is the current stage backlog or something else and this dot new task will just reset it to empty and this function we have to use this function should be called whenever task array changed so we can just call this to get this change detection running so let's see if we are able to create a new task okay so this is working we are able to populate the task now we just need to implement this actions okay so we are like 25 percent done and our few test case will pass even if we run npm run test okay now let's uh, write our some simple logic functions which is like uh, back move or forward move because we are going to call these methods from our html buttons there is a delete feature we have to implement and there is one method forward move okay now what we need to do back move means we have to just uh, change the stage of that particular task right so in this thing we just can do a map onto this and you will be passing a particular task of okay for which particular task you want to move it to back and forth simply and this logic is pretty much simple like we have a task array you just decrease the task in uh, task length okay task is like incremented 0 1 2 3 right task stages you move it to 0 it will be in the backlog 1 to 2 to 2 to ongoing so here back move and forward move so if you are doing a forward move then you have to just increase the uh, stage index right and return i we are just uh, doing this dot map so it will return new array and it will assign this dot tasks and we have to call this method because we want this change detection to run and for delete it's a simple array operation right so for delete we can just do a simple filter and I mean you can just copy and paste it and just change this map to filter with condition okay here i will be passing task delete this particular task so here instead of this we can do filter and return only those tasks where i dot name is not equal equal to task dot name so here explicitly you can see uh, return i I mean return true otherwise return false so it will return only those tasks which whose name is not equal to this particular task and okay we got this reset now okay we need to bind it on to these dom events i mean we haven't written the html so we have to just add these methods click methods click back move forward move in our component html so this is arrow back back move and this arrow forward there is a method name which is a forward move and there is a delete
and there is a delete method which is deleting it delete this particular task and now we can just test it how it is working okay this is working we can add a new task we can move it back oh this is cool now i think we are good here we just need to make sure that we should disable this back button when you are in the backlog and we should disable the forward button when you are in the done stage right so we just need to write a disable property on the forward button and back button to back move you should disable this when the stage is zero or forward move you should disable this when your stage is three i mean i'm hard coding it but we already know the length now i think it should do a lot of things for us okay yeah this works and you can delete this at any stage okay so we should be able to do a lot of tasks from this whatever we are doing we can just see our test cases by running them and if something is failing we should be able to fix it we have covered most of the conditions delete uh, back and forward if you see the test cases here which should be written in the app spec it is just testing these uh, different events by dispatching it like uh, forward back and delete or adding a new property adding a new task okay we are running ng test which is angular test same as enzyme and uh, just we have angular test which runs by jasmine and karma okay so just wait for a second we should be able to get the the result once we are done with the test we should be able to push this code to the remote hacker rank repo okay this is pretty much we will take one more exercise which will talk about node.js and most of the questions i see node.js is talking about middleware right custom middleware there is some condition written and you just need to follow that now you can see all the test cases are done for angular so we are done with this exercise and uh, similar kind of exercise you might face in future you should be able to do it you just need to get the test cases running you should be able to write the logic that is something like this just a data passing and handling the dom events that's it okay uh, thanks everyone I, I hope these things uh, should help you in cracking your interviews and getting the job you you may be expert in react and angular but when you face it for the first time you get it took it may take more time so i'm just putting these samples to help you out okay if you are getting job by looking into these then you can thank me later okay thanks everyone bye bye